Theme song. 2.0. An alien. Oh, we're gone. All right. Fucking I like yeah, I just sit here and you make a bunch of noises and then suddenly you you go silent and my brain goes, oh, fuck, it's probably my turn to talk. You're lucky I had something fucking I you know just I could have been sitting here just singing you know. No 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 no. You ever think like oh yeah I could make music and then you sit down and go and then it's like oh wait no I'm shit. Then you realize, like, oh, fuck, there are people out there with, like, moon talent. I appreciate your energy. Um, but, like, I just always love, because, like, pre-record, we worked out a perfect volume, then you literally doubled it. <laughs> Dude, no, like, you know, that's the fucking, you know, it's not my fault, all right? I have a what's called monkey brain. <laughs> it's the technical definition, yes. It's genetic. Okay, you're not allowed to make fun of shit that's genetic. It's like autism in black. Okay, let's have fucking have a powerful diaphragm. Fair enough. And this comes pouring out of you. Is this that thing that like is effectively a real estate scam for retarded nerds? Not Eve, no. No, Eve is a job. That's no, that's not a real estate scam. That's just a way we fucking it's a real shoot. estate scam. No, the one that sells chips. That oh no, that's yet. um Star Citizen. Star Citizen. There we go. I would never advertise that game unless it paid me bank. Yeah. And even then, I wouldn't. No, like, it would it'd have to no, be a lot of bank. It would, yeah, it would <laughs> have to be an irrational. I always say like I'll do evil things for money, but it's a ridiculous price. Like that's that's the idea. It's like I mean. You know, people go, oh, you'll do shit for money. Yeah, like, you think I'd stand in front of a bar and get in fights with drunks, you know, for fun? That's not what I do. Like, you know, chuck $26 an hour in and like, oh, suddenly, yeah. You know, think about any job you've had. I mean, have any of them been fulfilled as a human? Probably not. I mean, you're listening to this, so no. Um, you know, yeah, of course I'll do some fucking stupid shit for money. But like, again, it'd be, I do have fucking standards. A lot of the time, I, I specifically put the price at something cool, so. I'll take that much money from anyone. I'll take that much money from anyone. I mean, fuck yeah, Star Citizen. You know? You're like, spending criminal amounts on DLC for, a, I don't know, a game that's... even in Alpha? I think so. Probably. I don't know. Star Citizen, because you have a degree from an online universe. Like, I would, like, don't get me wrong, I I love the idea of Star Citizen. I love the end game of Star Citizen. No, but I have no point in, like, the thing is, the beginning and end are pointless because the middle is just so tedious and keeps getting extended. They just keep moving the goalposts. Well, yeah, it's, you know. Bring out a functional product. Every first. idiot has ideas. I have ideas, you know. No, you want to shit in a pelican. I want to piss in a hand dryer. Yeah. If we're, well, I mean, we're full like, of that's, ideas. That's not the idea I'd make a game out of. I like, would. Well, I'd call uh, it. Actually, yeah, I absolutely. Pelican dumper and hand. Well, no, we'd call it. Pisser. No, no, dude, easy. We'd call it Crappy Bird. And and how does a me. hand dry pissing come into it? That's, well, that's your game, man. Oh, it's a double like, joint well, game. No, we like, keep it classy. No, we're a package deal. Yeah, but we've already, you know, now we're turning into Star Citizen. <laughs> Shit, this is how it happens. <laughs> you start out with one simple idea: shit in a pelican. And then suddenly it's like pissing a fucking, you know, hand dryer. And don't get me wrong, I agree. But like, now we've already had feature creep. Yeah, you know? True. We've just spent all of our fucking. Spent all our money. Yeah, we spent our entire Kickstarter. And now we're going to have to go, hey, you know, like, we got this other really cool idea and we need you to fucking, you know, get it done. Get some more money. I mean, again, yeah, like, that's, you know, just get it fucking done. Like, that's. Even if it's shit, it's okay to do one thing that's. You know, kind of shit or kind of average and go up from there. I mean, the uh, person who makes the Momodora games recently released another one, which is effectively a spiritual sequel. And that series has to have more spiritual sequels than it does actual sequels. But, like, it's okay. a fucking Castlevania Souls game with, like, kind of Lolita nuns. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the first games were really simple, but, like, not bad. 
then you know, gradually they've been getting more complex and more interesting because he's been doing this crazy thing where he makes money or like gets some fucking credit practice off that first one and then you know comes out with the better thing. Beaky bums. This is pretty good. What game is this? I'm assuming it's just not called Not Star Citizen. Or Everspace. Everspace. It must be hard to come up with good titles for space games these days. Like, I'm surprised Everspace was take wasn't taken. Yeah. Yeah, the info's there about it. Oh, look at that. Fucking Aaron's I been having prepare. a little professional kick the yeah. last like, week or so. So there's like a whole list of shit up there that I just need to look at. I was just gonna, you know, fucking wax about how it's tricky to come up with decent space titles. I don't think I could come up with one. Mine would be like Planet Moon from Outer Space. And people would make fun of me because the moon's not a space. That's fair. Fucking, you know, what's his name? Neil deGrasse Jr. Tyson would make fun of me on the internet. I'd slap his nerd ass. He may have wrestled when he's younger, but he wears suits now. Everspace combines fast-paced combat with roguelike elements, great visuals, and a captivating story. I mean, ow, that's loud in mine. I can hear myself so loudly. Ow, Aaron, stop pushing buttons. I can't. Ah! Aaron! That, that's a bizarre thing to do to another human being, Aaron. Okay? I can't, I can't just be sitting here and then suddenly have my own speech screamed back into my head. Okay thing that you do to people to break their brains. So yeah, it's you gotta jump and collect resources and stuff and you can craft stuff and I mean captivating you, you can say it's it's beautiful. Yeah, you know what this is? It does have great visuals. It does look kind of fun. Um, there's a lot of I went into the controls too. And the thing that excites me to go play around with it later is you can look at the out of yours and stuff, so I reckon you could they probably set up control. a flight stick and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's no, really it's probably easy. got like flight stick um, compatibility. And I got really excited because when I played this game, I picked up a controller first because these games are usually yeah, more arcadey no, and yeah. they feel good on controller. And it said, hey, use a controller, don't do that. Use a keyboard and mouse, this well, game was made for it. And then I played it and I'm like, yeah, no, feel that. So you could actually, like, you, your gun's on like a little turret, it's not just the front of your plane. Pretty smart, actually. So wherever I'm aiming is where I should. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Ah, uh, dude, they're touching your butt. Space. Space, many people can touch your butt. That's the problem with space, like, libertarians. Is, you know, just... They're not even shy about the rapey pedophilia part of it in space. You know? No age of consent in space, Aaron. It's when you take someone's fuel. Like, that's what the name of my one would be, the space of consent. Space consent. I capture your ship. Yep, that's space consent. Well, I'm gonna save these guys. And be the hero. Captivating story is a bold claim. Like, uh, captivating, engaging is what I would have said. That's. I would have said a story. <laughs> I'm like, a I mean, I'm watching. Just from watching this, and I, 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 I will, you know, hastily preface this by saying I'm, I'm well aware that this is not a. Cool thing. So far, I'm not seeing a story or even a hint of one. Um, so I, I mean, has there, there wasn't been... an option to restart the game, so I had to kind of jump in from where I'd been kicking around with. It feels a bit bizarre. It does. It was an option to start a hardcore run, but I kind of don't want to do a hardcore no, run. No, no one, one, one should not start on hardcore. You. No, it's like losing your virginity to a fucking 12 inch pot pot. So You'll see up there, the top right, I have a ring system. Um, those rings represent the amount of jumps I can do. Which one represents a Ring. jump? The Ring in a... Australian is another term for the bum hole. I love that they're called server stations. I need a mod of this to just make oh, some that's Aussie. nice. Yeah, because like it's just the server. Yeah. It's green, just like the BPs. I wonder if I can get like cheap milk and bread here too. There's repairs, yeah. So, like, what was the story when you started? Like, did you create a character um, or? I found out you... that I was a clone. Hey, scary. Oh, that's pretty. Um, Wild. That I'm like uh, exploring, trying to find out yeah, my yeah, origins and stuff. I read a whole thing about how the fucking clone saga got out of hand. And it, it just screams, you know, it's just such a great window into everything that's wrong with the industry, even today. Like, oh hey, yeah, what'll we do? Well, Spider Man's an adult. He's sort of getting away with getting really far away from the character, so we're gonna like effectively find a way to reboot uh, Spider Man. 
It was supposed to happen in like the space of like two months. Then it started making money, so they were like, quick, extend it. And you know, that's that's pretty much where it all went to shit. I can't build that. That's fully voice acted. I mean, like, okay, did you copy paste that yeah. description? Is it okay, because so captivating Steam. is used twice. Yeah, these were two different parts of Steam, but I, I know, but like that. The That's, one at the top was the little blurb, like yeah, no, the I, I, I gathered that much. Yeah, I'm just you know, it's again, yeah, that's you know, it's not a mistake now. It's not like someone just picked the word captivating out of a fucking hat. It's a jump gate. A lovely lady jumps. Yeah. Aaron shot, he shot the bottom. Jumps, my jumps, my jumps. I don't hate much, but I do think I hate Black Eyed Peas. That's a common uh, feeling. Like, I think it's a combination of it being so fundamentally trivial. Like, I don't think anything, even the universe really, I think I'm comically okay hating the Black Eyed Peas. I think even the Buddha is like, yeah, you get one. Dude, you hate one trivial thing. You know? Even the Black Eyed Peas hate the Black Eyed Peas. So. <laughs> Fergie fucking hates the Black Eyed Peas. And Will I Am? Is that his name? I don't know. Uh, I don't care. I know Will I Am. I know Fergie. And then there's the one that looks like an unfrozen caveman. I think another black guy. It might just be Will I Am in a different hat, and I might be racist again. I keep an eye out for the jump gate. It's a little green swirl. It's really pretty. No, no, it looks rad. Like, honestly, you know, I, I have been looking for something like this that I can sort of, you know, just sit down and zone out in. I need a light interaction game. At the moment, a lot of what I'm playing is fairly heavy interaction. I need something where I can just be, like, cruising around and going. Ah, uh, they're suppressing the jump signal. It's past them. Oh, I have to kill them all. They get for fucking oppressing jumps. Who are these people, anyway? Like... These are outlaws. outlaws. Ooh. Um. Run out of ammo? Was it like space ammo? It's just like energy. So see the meter it's filling up. Yes. And now I'm, it's gone. Yeah. I'm shooting. Okay. I know, but like, they're in a universe. Thing. I don't know. <sighs> but that was um, one thing I liked about whatever the fuck that shit's called. Uh, Mass Effect, where it was like your ammo is a little block of material that the fuck they need. Guns operate on. I mean, do you have to hack it? Could you not have just shot the shit out of that? Because, oh, okay, right. You need it to jump to work. So. You had the coordinates, yeah. Okay. It's part of the servo. Yeah, you just aim at it for a while and it jumps. You don't need to be going past me. Like that. Yeah, no. Fast is like the sound of the point of space. So once you get to this sector, you don't need fuel for this jump because there's a jump game. Alright, cool. There's someone there. Oh, there's a traitor. Plasma. Glad dude, you just vacuum it up. Ah. Oh. Looks how like space plasma's worth something, but like Is that a cultural trade? fart on Earth. It's just like it sucks. Yeah, I know, right? Make you sick. So, like, these are consumables, like missiles and stuff you've got values to. Primary weapons, uh, overheat and stuff. You can upgrade them too. Upgrade! You never have too much good laser. Yeah, shield. I don't have them. Shit. Apparently so. Quite fortuitous to encounter one in these parts. USC 3PO. One of the evil 3PO's. As did R2D2. Dun, 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 dun. Third part won't be good. Then neither was Jedi. It's weird when you go back to old films and it's just like, it's like Ghostbusters 2 is literally just Ghostbusters again. And Return of the Jedi is literally just a new hope over. Like the one thing that keeps it fucking from being an absolutely shitful wreck is the f resolution of like, Luke's arc. It was good. Like the rest of it's just like, so, you know, again, like Ghostbusters 2, I think is still really fun to watch because I think Vigo's a fun villain. And there's lots of good scenes in it. But it's also 
the same fucking move. I think one really underdeveloped fact of fucking Ghostbusters 2 is the way. What the fuck's that? Fuck off. I think they're fucking tractor can devices. Okay. Are they here to harvest your corn? Ah, yeah, eat shit, John Deere. What you get for keeping me from fucking updating my own goddamn tractors. They do that. Oh, yeah, like, uh, that, they're fucking scumbags. No, you know all the shit, like, right for repair shit that we worry about with phones and how no one really owns their crap? Yeah. Which is, like, one thing when it's a fucking $40 piece of software, but, like, another when it's, like, a fucking thousand dollar lump. Fucking live. Like, John Deere have been doing that with tractors, so shit'll break down and they're not allowed to fix it. And they put, like, barriers and software locks and shit on so you can't, like, fucking you know, get it to work again. About, like, yeah, sending it to their fucking, oh, John Deere approved, like. So now, like, farmers are becoming, like, weird fucking porn punk hackers and shit. Which is, I just coined that, like, that is it's amazing. Yeah, I completely just, I literally just came up with coin porn punk. It's fucking, it's, that's just gold. Oh. Yeah, man, fucking, it's not all just ultra cities, you know? Someone's got to feed these fucking things, man, you know? What's going on out in the rural areas is urban living has become almost More impossibly aesthetics. dense. People live in silos and shit. So are you like are you doing something here or just kind of toddling around? So I'm you need to be jumping, like my current goal is to get further in. Um get more story. Um and okay, doing, so there I'm is just a, collecting there is... resources along the way, so I'm not. It's like right now, I'm struggling. Like, look at my ship health. Like, There's a lot of cracks in that windshield, which, I mean, that's kind of a bummer with cars, but I think in space, that's probably a pressing fucking issue. Yeah. That's a dude, that's a lot of cracks. Is that? That's like a drunk white girl's phone. I don't know. If, oh, it's another hacky. Oh, you're Ooh. surrounded by space Ooh. mines. Oh my god. I feel like I you're thought almost they were fucked. I get things to pick up. Wait, so are those red things bad? Are those glowing red things the mines? Probably. Oh, you in trouble. Did you see one? And, yeah, I mean, that's. There's. I don't know what to say beyond the fact that there's glowing red things. Yeah, those, those. Oh. Yes. Alright, I think they're from those. I think that's an issue. Ooh. Aaron, I think Can you're I in. Shoot them? Oh. I'm on fire. Right out. Good. <laughs> Is it even safe to hit jump with that many cracks? Probably not. What happens if you're just a person in the warp? Like, I, like fucking the warp release come and get you? I'm gonna get Event Horizon. Uh, event Horizon. I do like when the guy his own eyes out. It's like, yeah, you These don't want to come here. And supercharged particles. They are interfering with the sensors. Oh, that's a bummer. That's just what I need. Uh, uh, man, mines, mines. Yeah, that one. That's not a good. I'm oh, not a brain. Brains. Hey, if you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to, there's a lot of those fucking things. Is there a way to hack the mines, or is there like a central control for the mines? I watch a lot of Doctor Who, so I'm like, I come at this with problems, like solutions for problems. But I'm always worried that like the game, the game probably doesn't have that. You know? like, I hate it when I've got like, oh yeah, I'm gonna come up with some fucking Kobayashi Maru method of dealing with this shit, and the game's just like, people designing it didn't have that idea. <clears throat> I might. Space tokens, man. No, we're just never free. There's gotta be some cluster of fucking dull fuck. Oh, there's cunts coming from here, top left. Right. Ooh, ah, come on. Run, Aaron, run! <laughs> run, Space yeah. Aaron! You know what? We're just fucking not dealing with this oh. today. Come on, Bessie. Bull Duchess! episode of Gabe 7. Me, Aaron, who will 
take over for the rest of the series. Will I come back suspiciously in the final few episodes? Oh, thank God. They're friendly. Uh, the skulls are friendly? The yellow ones. Okay. So they're, they're the GMB, so they're like the corporation okay. like, who owns... Oh, God, they're under... No, oh, they locked me off because we're under... Fucking... <sighs> What's going on? They attacked, so they locked off the service station. Just like in real life. Man, I saw a Category 3 meth mum at the polls the other day. Like, category 3, dude? Yeah, like... She looked like a fucking uh, Russian folk monster. And... I mean, I first heard oh, her God. through, like, a shelf when she was threatening to, like... You, you can always tell what type of parent... What t it's a good way of, like, gauging the ferals by what they threaten their kids with. Because I'm not opposed fundamentally to threatening children, but there's like, you know, there's there's an inner logic to this. And like, she was just threatening to like, fucking punch him in the head. You know, not like a smack, not like, oh, you'll get punished when you get home. It was just, you know, like like you'd threaten someone who was trying to steal your oh, bike. Oh, I stole from them. Oh, that's... I did not realize that. Aaron, the skulls are angry at you. Yes, they are, Gabe. We're out. To good. repair your fucking shield, dude. I've repaired as much as I could. Would. And don't get me wrong, her kids were shits, and I almost felt like punching them for her. Like, I... That'd be a great service to offer. Don't be mad. You about need my... me to bash your fucking kids. Heard about my damage. And, hey, excuse me. And then at the fucking... At the, at the cash register, she was just calling them evil. Which is, like, another new one for me, because I've heard people call their kids little shits and, like, various fucking... Spares and threats and crap. Like, evil's a new one. Hunts. Everywhere. Where are the friendlies? Where are the friendlies at? I got a shotgun? Where did I get this from? Ah, oh, space sawn off. Oh, fuck. Alright, uh, you're getting hammered. Thanks, game. I know I'm dying. Fucking <laughs> oh. hell. Like, it was like, hey, you're dying. Like, <laughs> you think? <laughs> We're about to die. Yeah, this game's quite difficult. Um, a little harder when you steal from the government, Aaron. It is. I want to see if I can reset the game. Let's go back to the main menu. There's an option to do a new hardcore. Maybe that will overwrite that one that I can start a new. Back from the war. Right, you just can't reset. And you you have to go into a file, maybe. Is a reset run. There we go. Aye. I mean, that's a bit weird. I want to reset the whole game. It's like, I've put in perks and stuff that I didn't want. and Right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, not right there is still. I'm having memory loops. Memory loops are part of this contract. There was a dispute. Is it the... Why is the sugar is fruit, in the way of which is an issue. That's a lot of sugar. Aaron, they're made out of the sweetest memories. Uh, I was restrained. Ah! Shot with something. This is like really familiar. Who Into the Fortitude this? Valley mental link. Exactly at the same time. I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I don't park I the spaceships. Find some memory. answers. I mean, again, this is a story captivating as a bold fucking. Pilot requires further All right. Activating I really don't. No. You. But like, one of the best options in existence. I'm engaged, I'm not captivated. Let's skip the tutorial. Like, this is some shit. Look at this. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a minor okay. asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Pretty sure I said skip tutorial. Oh, there's Maybe another you're one. Maybe bits. I am. All right, cool. done. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is? Like you really could just do this, couldn't you? Like if you, if if it was this easy, if you were just sitting in like a fucking armchair and a robot just told you shit to do and you got eaten money, it was like, hey, drive over there and shoot that. Like you would for a while at least, you know. I mean, the problem is like these cunts. I'm, just, I'm trying to just enjoy myself here. I'm trying to just be me. 
I got these fuckers just riding my ass. Okay. Pick it up. I have a thing that like sucks things you might want near you. Like you gotta inter actually interact with these. Ooh, is that a better one than mine? Uh huh. It recharges faster, but it's got less hit. Yeah, I think of the way you drive, I'd have like hit points. I just feel like you can't. Like the enemy tracking is a little aggressive. So I think. Uh, I don't know. I you think... need to make better use of like the space. Because everywhere you've been so far has been like full of stuff. I think there's like. You have to make somewhat better use of like the cover. Like, look at that. Like, look at all that shit. No, like, what I'm saying, it doesn't matter, is they'll shoot you regardless. They're like. Games. And to be hard as in if there's enemies the quicker it takes to take them down the longer you're getting shot it kind of doesn't really matter about your cover because you'll swoop around and they're just faster than you just just zoom, 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 zoom. you start off weak you've got to upgrade your ship and they they do that in where they really punish you early game so like the ship has like no maneuverability at the moment which is a that huge is, uh, issue it is not far off with my fucking armchair remark Fuck you and your little triangle. Fuck all. Like, we're all just out here. There's enough space for everybody. Like, fucking honestly, it's cold space. Yeah, see what I mean? This is really slow. Like, they're yeah. just chasing you. The early days are really rough until you get, like, a few updates. Like, it, I think they don't expect you to last long the first few times. Like, when your first death is like, hey, you died, and then it's like, there's upgrades of stuff you can yeah. do now, and it's like... Oh, yeah, if you... Adding shit that rolls over. Yeah, it's a game where you're meant to die. I mean, I suppose you're like a clone of what looks like young Gary Sinise or some shit. Points are good. Three hundred. Gary Sinise really does look like a knee and a toupee. Look, I think credit getting more credits is. Oh yeah, no, anything that like buffs pick up some experience, cash and shit. Ooh! No, another game. Oh. Let's go there. Uh, I suppose computers do it, but I figured, like, if you made it hard to see it, it'd be to shoot you. <laughs> How do you, like, have camouflage against computers? What confuses a. Oh, what if you covered your fucking plane in captures? My fucking brain genius. Yeah. Where you're meant to die. Yeah, I think they really are. Black holes? Hmm. Look at black holes. Huh. That's cool. This game has a few expansions and stuff as well. I'm thinking of picking them up because they're pretty cheap. And I got this game on Game Pass, so I didn't pay anything for it. Oh, yeah, this is on Game Pass, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I will get this one. It's $5 a month. I don't think enough people kind of realize that that's a pretty good deal at the moment. It's ridiculous. It's currently $2 for two months. Um, and that gives you the Gears of War 5 Ultimate Edition, so if you have any slight interest in Gears of War, get that for free! This is decent. Like, the selection is actually insane right now. Right, I don't it isn't bad, yeah. Like, it's not large, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. Like, Dead Rising 4, there's some real, the nice little indie things. There was a point-and-click adventure game. Um... Wait, Bastards is on there. The highly kind of like, recommend. fucking... Uh, uh, what's his name? The Ray System wrote about monsters. HP Lovecraft, that's it. I remember someone throwing a fucking, you know, tantrum because there's an award for, like, horror writing that's like HP Lovecraft's head. And they were like, oh, this sucks because he was racist. And all I can think is, you're a fucking moron. You're so good at something, you win, like, you're so good at that guy's hobby, you win his head. Imagine if he had to haunt that head and he's got to then spend, like, the rest of his fucking afterlife, like, sharing a flat with a Negro. That would drive him insane. Like, that's hilarious. I'd love to win the heads of people who hated me. Fucking classic. But yeah, the big problem is early on, energy shared with your boosting and your, uh, and your weapons. So you constantly, you've got to choose to maneuver or, or shoot. shoot yeah. Really, I mean, you know, there's not, not a lot of value to the whole thing if you can't do both. Yeah. Welcome to boxing. You can punch or move. Huh. We're there in a sec, fighters. There's a compound. Both of those are important? Yes. 
That's a nice one. Or, uh, congratulations, you get one boxing point to spend on anything you desire. It ceased when resources were exhausted, forcing both sides to the negotiating table. A demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Oka authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. Race wars. Dark matter. Grow matter. I suppose every war is a race war in space. Excuse me. Try to collect my Negro matter in peace. Well, that was there. Uh, it was so. Uh, remember we lost our shit when we. Matter of in, color. Work in a fucking game store because they sold the black Xbox 360 control. And on the front, sometimes they have different languages written. Yeah. It just said Negro on it. Yeah, because like there's a few I think it's like like Spanish or something. And it's just like yeah, like Which is yeah, it's weird for English. Oh you managed to kill him. Nice. Those do. I, I don't know. Them. I'm gonna shoot him. Well, that was dumb. Like I feel on him. You know, all units in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you attack one. That's I fine. That Got some fuel. Ah! Ah! Oh, shooting resets the jump. Oh, fine. Boost you the shooting resets the jump, or oh, them, them shooting? shooting me? Oh, that's pretty good shit. Again. All right. Escape. You cannot stop me. Chip, runaway velocity. Whee! Chip, terminal obesity. Go. Alright, so there's like an FTL component to it. Nice. <laughs> is active nearby. That's not good. They'll do something about it. Find it and disable it. The higher the signal strength, the closer you are. Oh, shield breaking missiles. Those. And it's shit of missiles. One or the other. I think that's. I think it's good. I think yeah, having something because once the shield's down, you know the bullets do their work. work like. So you get one. So you got two primaries. So you got the pulse laser, which is for shields, and then you got the gatling, which is for non-shield. Uh, oh like, yeah, now you can have gatling on and then just yeah. shield break them and like. Oh. Brun managed to get the only contract in the DMZ. They were first on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far as their monopoly is concerned, their close working relationship with the colonial fleet was undoubtedly a factor. Thanks, Space Butler. This is Space Butler. Wanna be a boat? Is that was that your dream, or did you start out as like? Because this, you know, they're like fucking what's his name? In M Banks. Um, had a great old time writing, you know, he, he did a series of books all taking place sort of, you know, across various periods, but within one sort of peak technology species referred to as the culture. And like, ships and shit were sapient stuff, they had like, lives and they could like, have, they ah, oh, I want to be a fucking starship today, and they'd have to apply and conversations. I don't remember which one of the books. Well, one of the books was kind of about a ship trying to like navigate his way back to everyone's kind of races. It's weird. I mean, that's where it's gonna get to. It's like, you know. I guess. Build shit good enough, and eventually it starts thinking. I mean, that's basically us. As long as my toilet start doesn't start leaking. That's going to Aaron. Like oh. that's that's where it starts. You know. That's the fucking singularity. Yeah. Shit, better. I am not taking your waste today. Wait, what? That's convenient. I need to shit. Do it somewhere else. Somewhere else. They've locked onto you. Oh. Just I let the Roomba get it. Yo. Ah, oh, your shield's down now, bitch. What's what's happening? And what's this? Oh, gatling. How do you gatling like all those out. gatlings? Huh? Oh, missiles. We don't need free. We already have them. We just I was no Anna. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Only hold ten. Maybe expand that. No boat. Fucking. Yeah. 
How do we have bigger slots and shit? I want my boat to be inherited by Chevy Chase. Racist. Like, they... If they ever make a Wind Waker movie, they need to make the King of Red Lines Chevy Chase. I kind of feel sorry for Chevy Chase, because, like... Do not. Well, no, but, like... There was a big article about him in, I think, The Atlantic, and it's, like, it's well known that he's a dick, but, like, the little bit that touched on his childhood was, like... I mean, he's you know, part of some insane money family, and, like... I think his full name's like Chevron Moneyham Chase or some shit. And Moneyham. No, but like his, you know, one of the punishments that he had to deal with was being locked in a cupboard sometimes for days at a time. Holy balls, he's like Harry Potter except not magical. Yeah, imagine if the owl didn't show up. It's imagine what a cunt Harry Potter would be. That yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, if you if, if if you lived with the what are they the fucking Dursleys, Dursleys. like. You'd come out the fucking back end racist as shit. Uh, anything interesting here? He's locked in a cupboard for days at a time. Like, he peed himself and stuff. It's like, when you when you sort of, like, look at the bits of it, it's like, he's basically almost Bojack. Like, it's, it's almost uncanny. Like, oh, fuck your shield. It's good that the Gatling gun can shoot things that aren't Gatlings. I don't know. I think it, it might be the dude's... I feel like it's a French guy's name, and he invented the gun. I'm gonna look it up. We're gonna have... Related to Ganda? Good for the gooses, good for the Gatling. <laughs> yeah, the male fucking, you know, Erlu. Gatling. Yeah. Oh, no, it was, it was an American. Uh, it was invented by Richard J. Gatling during the American Civil War and later used in the Spanish-American War, but was supplanted by advanced weaponry soon after. It was kind of like a real early machine gun. Um, I mean, now there's, like, miniguns, which are, like, the modern versions of it. M134 minigun. <laughs> People also ask, is it legal to own a Gatling gun? Ugh. Is it? Um. Okay, so electrically operated ones like the minigun are considered machine guns and are regulated. So civilians, believe it or not, can't own machine guns. I think, like, they're hand cranked, which the Gatlings are. Like, don't right. get me wrong, the Gatling gun is it's, it's, it's mounted to, like, a cart. Like, it's basically a food truck with a gun. Like, no one. I mean, you know, and I say this almost as a challenge, is going to be able to do, like, a fucking shooting with a Gatling gun. You know? It's, like, imagine mounting a Nerf auto gun to the top of a wheelie bin that's full, and you've effectively got what a Gatling gun is. Gatling still sounds French. I mean, it's weird, like, it's, you know, because you don't hear the, you know, Gatling as a surname. Like, much these days. Oh. The gun people. Fucking up great shield? Sounds good. Gun. Why does it tell me I can upgrade things if I can't? Like. Oh, because I can build shit. Well, jump gate was over here. Jump gate. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Two of this is coming out too. Like, is uh, how old is this? Strange. Uh, years so. of memories. Trying to make sense of them. I think there's a sequel all on the way. Right? I had managed to escape. I was They're really well received. Breakout title. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A My cells. Cytotoxin. cytotoxin. Shut up. A slow, relentless, eating me away. Cytotoxin. Cytotoxicity. It's the quality of being toxic to cells. Its progress, okay. But it would take time. All I could do was. Oh, yeah, so like emotions. shit that eats your skin, like the brown recluse spider. Ah. Uh. 
Man, no fuck spiders that eat skin. Like, it's just not okay. There's a spider that gives you a boner, and then that's the last boner you I'm get because your penis funny. dies. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> better enjoy this one. Rub it out. Why are you kidding? Yeah, the zealots. I mean, no, you're not gonna rub anything out because it hurts like hell. So you got like, yeah, you got like a pain boner. What the fuck is that? The job of the hut? The Eterna system was meant to filter such personal recollections. Wait, what are you saying? My original? I'm a... A clone. Yes. Terminator Dark Fate presents us with the scariest Terminator of all. Mexican. The function of Eterna was to pass on operational skills, such as pilot. But it seems that something has it's gone wrong. It's played by Gabriel Luna, who once again proves that... Was once an archaic white name. Is actually see, I have a Mexican name. I didn't know that. Who is my original? Australia doesn't have a very large Spanish population. A lot of Latinos in Australia. Yeah, I don't kind of want that. Like, please choose booster shit to man and shut down your shields. Hey, thank you. I have no information. On <laughs> yeah. Perhaps there is a purpose to this aberration, which will become clear upon reaching the coordinates given. Hey, boat. Can you pop some Pornhub in the top right corner while I deal with this shit, please? None of the weird fart stuff. Only the weird fart stuff for you. Not the fart stuff. It is quite odd. Again, like, I just feel, you know, like today I was in Pornhub and it's like, oh, what's Pornhub got? And I click lesbians. And I click fucking, you can add a category so you get two categories, you know? Like, if you want fat lesbians, there's fat lesbians. And I click lesbians and strap on. And it's like, all right, there I go. And then, like, the third thing was two people in fursuits and one of them had a horse strap on. And it's like, alright, look. It's a bit outside, you know. Dude, do I shoot a bunch? Just give me stuff? Kiss it, kiss it, Aaron. Uh. Uh, like fucking... Whatever the shit, Metroid. That or are you? Oh, not Ed Duggins. Not Dug Dugs. Not Edson Dugnut. <laughs> Dug some head nuts the other day. Dug. Big Dug. Dug Nick. Is that another pile of fucking. Oh, up, up. Another pile of plasma. Big Dug looking for a handpiece. <laughs> 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 oh, god damn it. So good. Big Dug looking for a handpiece. <laughs> what? That's fucking sick. Big Dug looking for a handpiece. <laughs> Miss shit. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, ammunition. And you got plasma mines, whatever they do. That planet doesn't seem very stable. Sure, it's fun. It's like an entire planet of Hawaii. Oh, box guys, whatever it is. Crater wreck. Australia is not very geographically active, it's very, very old. Uh, it's always nuts to like people living on like the land that's not done yet. Okay, something not loading in. What's going on here? Maybe it's not a scanny one. Wait, 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 wait! No, get the crosshair on it. Get the reticle on it. Get a wreck. All right. Yeah, but I mean, if you maybe you have to have it. The other on... one was glowing though. This yeah. one's not. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it it's already. nothing. Get close to the actual. Like, oh, there! Red. No, no, no! These are glowing. Fuck yeah! And just big tubs of space money. I, I mean, okay, I, I, I get for the sake of like expediency, just having it like shoot the boxes and stuff. But I feel like maybe there should be like a spacewalk thing. You gotta sort of get out and dawdle your way over, and maybe That'd like cool. open that stuff up. Because I feel like just having everything work by shooting it is, uh, it's feeling a bit lazy. Wonder what yeah. number two is. I feel like a lot of this is quite good, and a lot of this, I think, has Remember a good, though, solid presentation and production value. Indie. So when you, uh, that's like, a fair point. to start, remember we always say, start, make a platform, then ambitious. And they're doing it too, so okay. it might be, you know, expansions and other things, I don't know. I haven't looked much into it. They might, there might be complaints that I mean, we make that I've already addressed. A different kind of laser, you know? Like a mining laser, you can improve the mining laser. Mm. A fucking money vacuum, and you can level the money back. Could drop some of these plasma mines. These are shit. Oh, 
faster. I suppose it's dusk. Space must be nuts. I see some nuts shit out there in space. Oh, oh there it is. Alright. Oh, that was fun. Oh, did you get someone? What was that I'm green flash? More. Oh. That one go off now. This could be a sticky situation here. Yep. That one go. Ah, suck shit. Can you, like, reabsorb your little mind children into the womb? They're coming up as red, so. Kind of bullshit. Leave him. Just leave him here for the next fucking time. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The left left the turret. are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster and the colonials uninvited guests. They're racially insensitive there, but. Oh, was in here. Yeah, that. I mean, like, how hard is scrap to come across? Eh. Yeah. Common. Yeah, well, that's. You know, I, I thought, like, if you blow in a hole open and finding the thing, like, maybe the people. Ah, uh, you're not going home to your stupid outlaw family. Does outlaws have family, or do you think family is frowned upon? I think they strap them to the craters as armor. That's why you have families. Yeah. What to bring you pizza? Out there, son. Out there and bring me back space pizza. That's da -da -da -da. Oh. Can you scrap that stuff? Like, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Is that is that like a crystalline entity? Uh, yeah. Well, I answered see. Uh, well, I don't know if that's a good idea. Lightning in space? How? Magnetic fields causing friction. Anomaly. But quite visually striking. How anomaly -y can something be if it's occurring? Like, you know. Well, like, it happens all the time, but it's not an anomaly. I suppose, but like, space is big, you know? Like, I'd assume that it's probably. Imagine only ever seeing lightning once and going, oh man, look at that bizarre Earth anomaly. I mean, for the, there are cunts for which rain's an anomaly. Obi's an anomaly. They're called Western Queenslanders. <laughs> Are hardy, durable people. What happened here? Oh, mines. That's a lot of mines. Of the yeah. The There's something the good in there. That is a lot of mines. Holy fucking shit. Let's just put it at it's like someone making Let's fairy see. bread in space. Hey, anything out here? What the fuck's that? Mines and a cunt. Trader. Oh. I don't know what's in there, though. Yeah, well, no. Let's ask the trader, maybe. You know. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. Ooh. Get some shield. Or something. Beam. Can you afford it? <laughs> I don't think either of those is a good idea. I don't think either of those is a, is a sound trade. I think you should up upgrade your ship so you can have more shit. And maybe get some fucking more health or something. Upgrade your scattergun. I want that. A gas. Yeah. I like the I sound of that. Get rid of one. How do I get rid of one? Huh. I think I think you have to be in the. Right. Oh, so that like. Up, up around you at the moment is like because it just it just make, it makes me feel like you're almost about to die. It does look sinister. Yeah, like orange, I don't think it's a good color considering. Look, that's a lot of goddamn. Fuck, don't. Right, goddamn servo. <laughs> All right, maybe just have a gentle nudge around. I'll go this view. Jesus, it has to be something good in there, surely. Showing up on scans yet? Because the sensors are impaired here. That looks. Something? Nope. How about you? Oi, 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 oi. First thing I'm gonna upgrade in this game is mobility. That's a good fucking 
choice. Because right, I just feel like in my my brain is like, fuck you. Shotgun's a good choice. Considering how close you get to a lot of the guys, yeah. That, that. Pretty easy That'll to destroy. Maybe this is just a trick. Uh, you know what? Yeah, maybe. I feel like you're right. I do feel like I'm being tricked. You had a look. I mean, you know. Shut up. Alright, we'll jump in this game and then we'll end it. But this game's fun. I really enjoy it. It's nice to chill and play. Very enjoyable. I mean, it seems to. I do want to find a game like this. Because, you know, I'm not adverse to the second generation style stuff. Please. Yeah, if you go to it, you can get a choice of either swapping it or you can salvage it. Oh, cool, You've yeah. got no room for it. And unlock all slots and stuff. Lock. This is a service station. Do you know what happens in the service station? I thought I asked the questions here. Do you? Um, refuel? Trade parts? I hot dogs. Learning. I only got fuel. Oh shit. But what servo station doesn't have like the fucking donut kiosk these days? 7 Elevens have Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Those glazed donuts are so nice. Oh, miss some glaze. Glaze and donuts! What a jump gate is, really. Donut? It's just, yeah, it's just a my memories are not my own. They are copies. They originate from someone else. That someone's been masturbating a lot. It was at the Fleet Academy. His name was Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Quiet, reserved, uh, awkward, awkward around the He's others. masturbating around others. He had a friend, Seth. Masturbate on Seth. They shared a dorm. We've got masturbation on the brain today. Basic training. <laughs> Seth looked out for Adam. He stood up for him. The brains and the brawn. They became close like a team. Oh fuck, I'm captivated. And the orders came. Deployment for war. No. The Okar. Yeah, where's my gay space friend? You know, we, all we these, were... no. These dudes need to play volleyball. Zero G volleyball. <laughs> these top guns. Push it to the limit. You need to get on it. Zero G volleyball. Adam Rosslyn. Interesting. Do you have any information on that name? I do not. But this level of cognizance in a club yeah, game is ever space. It's rad. I, like I recommend it if you've got Game Pass. It's cheap. I don't recommend buying it on Steam because it's like fifty-five dollars, which I think is a bit much for it. But Man, Game Pass. Game Pass. Yeah. See you next time. Keep it classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. Get it banned somehow.